EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That, let's head over to Raymond James Stadium in Tampa for the call of this one. We bring in our broadcast team, Brandon God and Charles Davis. We are just to the west of you, Coach, on the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium. The echoes of Cannon Festo ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the much wooded instrument of the road. As we'll do battle with the Denver Broncos. The Bulls with Charles Davis and Brandon Gordon and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? Think about that. In any ball game, that's theirs, that's yours. Both of these teams get after the quarterback. Is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. All goes now for their opening. And that's at the tall signal call, standing 6 6. And what's a quarterback's best friend? I think you're right. I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right, and terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who like to throw it. Gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus of the year. And they wanted to all just heap on their shoulders. I don't think they want to make sure they take some control. Line incomplete. It was Van Ruder in the trenches. What do you think of the old line? Love it because this group is so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Again, six yard line, second and ten. Second and ten. Takes us up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Good route, good pickup for down yardage. But that is a tough one to cover. The angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're with him, you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the Get you to overcommit running in that direction. Right there, 60 yards. Guys were able to strike and then corner. On paper, coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just said that just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. On here, Brandon McManus for the one after. And his guy. The drive there will be spanning three plays and it ends with a Denver touchdown.
to the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. He's fouled at the goal line. And he'll make the, the 20. As his guys are set at the 20. That's hanging out there. They're back standing it. Brits prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago. We talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end he's buying gifts for all the guys who are helping him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. That's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, you be he's usually the guy that springs for the good stuff. This man on the outside, and he'll get this up past the goal line. Hopefully, they're ready today. Listen, you gotta beat them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field, and when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And now, out of the goal. Down pick up the weight. Doesn't he? Because we want him. I think if he's straight ahead, peripheral, has a sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open, I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And from the 36 now, first and 10. And back to him on third down. Yards on the pickup there that will be second. This defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. They've done throughout this season. Terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Territory. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. They had high praise for this one. People who beat the coaches have loved it. They said, and obviously they like to the team, height, speed, speed, all of that. How about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about it. After the football, he eats for it and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. And now in Denver territory at the 47. Out of the tailback. He's the two. You know, first down, that brings up second. And I think I'm hard to stop. Back of this size, these dimensions, let's just tell you a true set in for fighting about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. I'll try the jet sweep here. Immediately take it now. They'll say no gain on the play there, and that will be third down. I'm not sure that you trick play, but they definitely showed some imagination there. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to come back and show this play a few more times before this one is over. Yeah. Hey, good. I'll give him down about three yards short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings him a fourth down. Simply excellent deep. Now they have to be the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. 
It would have been a long field goal, but fake doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on the first drive, Charles. And they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this. And think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did something like that. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for you. Not so much for part of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down at 22. Second down, but this one is incomplete. Love the unit that can draw the run and get after the passer. This is an all-down terrific defensive front. You move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the ball. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. When I was a kid, the only one was nickel, so to get that sort of guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. When you work, you don't know, just needed the extra nickels. Uh, they were so they pay the proper price. Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> about 15 cents. A third down on is the runner, Colby Rodman. He'll be fielded at the 17. Out of home, 24 yards, one the street. And ready to go on. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now, heading back out on the field. But it's going to be interesting to see what the chest. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can it continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Now, head off here to. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. He's like we just saw there. That's why they're up. That's, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're saying here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily hey, just hey, playing at the line hey, of scrimmage. Hey, hey. Good, 
as God's word. No more. No more. Be getting there. And so, he's holding his game. That's a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And then on to the goal. Down. Into the spin run. And hit. Here. He finds it here. Oh. So he needs to find a chance for him. I'd love to be in his head right now. Because is he rewarding himself for a great run? Or is he kicking himself if he did get all the points? Big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what oh, they got to get ready. Oh. And here it is, running. Looking for a seam, but finding none. Headed back to the line. That's it. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. You saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's not the one of middle line back to bang a flat. And flowing to make the stop before it turns into something. I'm up here with another shot from the six yard line, and it's second and goal. Now. And again, this time to the table. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third. And getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis as Again, why not? What we're seeing so far, pretty well from them. And here's the best part we always talk about the best performers. Do their job when the lights come on. If he likes natural things. And they take a shot down, but it's incomplete. You can already start to hear this crowd. They're saying, "Go." Have we ever been in a game where you've heard the crowd go, "Field goal, field goal"? No, no. <laughs> I have not. Good point. Yeah, they always want to go for it. And I think they've been right out here right now. The way they've moved the ball in this drive, I wouldn't stop that ball, Beto. Go get it. Go on fourth down on games of Buccaneer kicker Matt Gay. This is less than an extra point, just an 18 yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. The trailing. It's. The point that counts three times if we had disappointed able to get it. Just imagine this. In the air field goal, missing a little bit. Went to real. Getting three points was vital. They wanted the points back. Opinion now, the kick was here. Just taking it at his four. If we can return here, he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 and the 24. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time had to punt into this one. I think it's leverage. Uh, Big leverage. guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Check the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> Watch that leverage on this drive. The one on the top. What a juke. A great play there. 76 yards. The Broncos able to show up their quick ability. Charles, they had six DBs out there. They were thinking pass. They surprised him with a long run. I wonder if he saw that and just checked to it. Maybe had an audible and said, you know something? Get six defensive backs. Let's run the football. Put our big guys downfield and match up with the little guys and see if we create some space. 
not only did they create a space, they created a path all the way to the end zone. Now McManus for the extra pitter. This one's right through, making a 14 3 ball game. I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. To the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And no one back here. Be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. Tampa Bay trots out there now. And tough to win games if you go field goal, field goal, field goal. They got a field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. Looking for the big chunk now. Because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Well, your friends, we'll see if they can get the score. Play fake here. Danger. Even on second down. You know, they had a time that they looked this way. This tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to get you out of way. Continue. They know where to find the way from home. Lead. Down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Eight yards. All came together there in breaking ground. Excellent pace. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the forty seven. And the throw. The incomplete physical ball. Taken down. Can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remember that expression that I heard. Maybe I don't know, but and again, hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. But you know a coach like that, right? Yeah. Not actual player. Not every chance at all. Way easier said than done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Oh, but it's incomplete. It's like he had a couple of different options to throw to on that play. And might have but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Now, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Back with one complete. Bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They've been free on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. If you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. 
Oh, now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchdown. And Denver getting set to take the field. Coming off a one-play drive, it was leading for the defense. What, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this off? Well, there's some determination that's dead because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but a lot of run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the final plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Now a handle. And something play here and a late flag as well. I think this one's gonna be a face mask. So that flag will cost him fifteen. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get mask. Any part of it that's gonna be fifteen yards. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. Love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, something in the air, deep ball, but how about them just taking a big time jump? Not coming back out. Now they've established this run game. The play after pass could very well be open. Last run got three, now here's second and seven. But this is I'm look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up a section of your blade of glass. That allowed them to disrupt it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Over the dog at that time on defense, just beautiful defense. Hit it every one, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And so now to the corner move as he'll play for the second time. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchdown. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The ground game's been good, but they're learning here in the second quarter. That ground game, maybe a little fear attack a little bit more. I think so because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball. Sometimes you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with their runs so far. Yeah. Yeah. Away, it's incomplete. Yeah, I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing After the incompletion, it is second and ten from the 20. There's one that's intercepted. Four from the 20. Short throw, pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction.
McManus now for the extra point. And it's 21-3. to three. The play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six, they'll get another shot at it in as this one's in the air. Take it in at the one. Oh, a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out on the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. They can back run into Lockwood down 21 to 10. As opposed to 21 to 10. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, a discouragement. And I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. They'll come up with a second and five. And give it here to his running back. And give it down to Matt Boyd, takes it across the 40 yard line. Goes for a Buccaneer first to pick up a 12 yard. Kind of break off a big run already in this game. I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to this. Big run on his own. Sometimes you get additional blocking in the second level, which gets you deeper into the second level. Control here. It's sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. Took it a little too far, it's second down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the screen. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Action fake. This is going to be another first down as they make the tackle at the Broncos 40. And a blitz. I'm going to leave you a man for this guy, and that is less than you. It is because just about any offensive in the league receiver, having a man cover, good going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Oh. I give this time to the tailback. And it runs there. Eight on the play, and it'll be second down. The design blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Yeah. They look to throw. Eight. The 35 will be dropped out of the 30. And the 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Has to go down to a simpler route to the playbook. Always so effective. Nice completion there. It's moving. Back now, the state of 16 was far, 50%, but it's first and 10. Now, a hand up here. And he is back in his That's a two day in Dallas. I don't know if he's there. Look at that one right now. Everyone's in good 
the play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating a lot of it. And ran this step on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. It's 17. Yeah, he's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance class. Draw play. That didn't fool anybody. It's going to be dropped in the backfield. A loss of full three yards and now second down. Get, get real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. The best backs that made it happen they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed. Mm -hmm. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Second and 13. Here that's complete. That's good for a lead. We were unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball to a tight end of his caliber's hand. Let's see what kind of disruption he can. Bucks on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 11. We'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Remember the money works for any offense? Right. The defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. Love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they were able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short. Yeah. Well, out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. The game knocks this one through. Out of 15. Make the tackle. No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend. Opinion now to kick this one away. Take it in at the wall. And it'll take this one near the 25, come up the 26 yard line. The Denver offense now is like it's set to take over here. And they're coming up. I think they've got to look at the play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't done before. Try to shake things up a little bit to try to get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked. Yeah. Out. Maybe try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players and maybe try to hit something big and get them fired. Hey, Gary, that's good point. The 
just a yard inch there. And, and then um, all the wide receivers are just getting knocked down. Then he pick his spot. Oh, how about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and nine down. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. Now a gain of 18 yards and a deeper first down. To that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. Tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Here's a play for cut up the throw. Third first down there, 12 yards on the play. His position, and he's listed as a end, but he certainly doesn't run that run. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, you need that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the front. And we'll give it here to his running back. Give him three yards. Down. And off the second and seven. Another inside. But that one was followed up because what they're hoping, the defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease they can run through. And that didn't happen. Here's a second and seven. A pickup of 16 to Blanco first down. You run a screen pass really well. You got to like the look up. So many pots come together to make it work well. It's a lineman where they're faking people out. The back slipping out there, catching the football, and all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. This quarterback now, 6 of 10 in this first round. He's got his guys a first down here. And again, this time to the tailbone. Oh, in tackle on that one. And then they get him to ground just in the 15. Get a nice jump there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And creating space for the guys carrying the ball. When that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, it almost feels like he's one of them, and it really embraces it. Good mark in this first half of action. Two and use the first of their timeouts so as they take it over. We we'll step aside. On fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and a field goal unit for the Broncos. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the 30, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading out of the field again. 
He's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. Sometimes your strategy is, okay, he's going to have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quite a hole as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground. Start to go through the air as well. Here is Cole, but they're really incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet up. Second down. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing game. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast, it moves quickly on him. Sometimes they fall back on what they know best. They're all. He's, he's leaning it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the problem with football. Now the completion was tied in. The Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll take it over here before we'll be in a third down. Going to use the second man out uh, for the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good. Fielded just inside the 20. And 10. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. Played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown. So, frankly, that's what they expect out of it. Want to see the ball thrown and thrown well. He's able to do that, put it in the end zone. We'll hope to see more of that before this game finishes. Right now, he's got his team in a good spot. Good spot. Maybe a touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. From the 32 now, to 10. The middle of the pass midfield almost to the front. Being taken down. That'll be hard. A seven yard pickup. That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some muscle on it because you know, lollipop it in the middle of the field. Bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Complete. Down, but not before they're inside the 25. 19 there as the drive marches forward. Now they have the complete cup on this drive, and they still got some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. There are two nice plays in the pass game. Now, can they continue to feed off that? A really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're a man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. There again is the running back as he trots out of the field. Been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing. Second quarter, 
questions I can answer. I think that what you're trying to do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. And not an open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way. As well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. They get tired. They get out of position. They need to feed him the ball. Is that Get on the balls. Patience. Thirty-two now. Here's first ten. And that is eight. The seventeen seconds now on the clock here. As if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. Wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to. And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Second and 10. Third and five. As they stop a little package remaining in this. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. This last one. We're each telling what's been a fairly one sided game so far. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Tap Time Report. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead of his action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. 25 to the 26 yard line. Here come the Buccaneers. They'll have the first of the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is what do I'm doing in a <laughs> really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone. Game. Yeah, we'll see if that script is a good one for it. sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. Nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later. Next Thirty-five, and a first down. You gotta get a two-yard line. 
I talk to all the wide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. With a tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion. Remember here it was running back. Danny Carroll, so it's second and nine. That didn't work. Because he just started in once he saw the run develop. Here to be a case of see ball, get ball. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A six yard gain gets him 43. Jones is top of that lead to a third game. He's not cool about the game there in second. Now, that was a positive play. That was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. And now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. It's in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. It's one out of the backfield. That's complete. All about the good defenses. Understanding the game, understanding positioning, tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. The center line. Got to him before he ever had a chance to make it up, turning it upfield. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on the run for Tampa Bay. Over 50 yards of right. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone. Now. Go back to the 20. And now look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Talk a lot about pregame speeches or halftime speeches. For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, they'll get out to you if they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go to the virtual locker room. Because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, take control right away. Defense, we got the deep, we got the, we got the lead defense. We're going to have to pass. Back over to the offense. In the game. Now, let's see what happens. A big hitter, that yards. Sometimes there's lines that are drawn. Brooke, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? We just saw that, that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the free now for first and ten. Again, this time to the tailback. Ten yards on the pickup there. It'll be second down. I'm sure they can this lead. Give it to the backs, don't let the keeper win, don't you think? Well, that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. This one complete. And it's third down. And then like this, you know it's used to ditch it out kind of over here. But has to observe the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Complete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now I'll hand off here to Rainbow. First down as they bring it down at the track. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. You don't talk about it very often, does it? You know, just start the second half, but it can manifest itself on weak tackling. Now about right there, he ran right through that weak tackle attack. The play fake. Need to his back complete. A gain of five, and that'll make this a second down. He's already a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the pass. I think what we're seeing here 
is the modern version of Warriors in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal. The second and four. Complete. It'll be a two yard game, and that'll make it third down. You know, most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receivers, running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That's where the next defender now in the secondary here on third down. <laughs> Down the double, they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And they convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They've had a great a going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. Not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. And we get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Certainly played a pivotal role in those two teams. Why they're up on the scoreboard right now? Well, Sutton's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the numbers. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. Bottom line is, what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue. Madison's point after is good, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. To the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the run. And he'll get a quick four. He's brought down at about the 23 yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where is the I just him, maybe the guys up front combination. Well, you and I both know it's almost always a collective deal. And this one thing we've done, it's a lot of the local confident. It blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt. scrimmage, no yardage will be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Oh man, here we go. Yardage here back at the 23 yard line. Let him, they lose we're seeing that maybe time to go back. 
You're, yeah, anything, change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. It doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open it up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He's been on the right spot so far. To set up his blocker. It's it's a special with Vince first in is the man taking the snaps under center and again an next possession. How do you think he personally has evaluated his game so far? He was in the first half been good so far here in the third quarter. Kind of like not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2. Look for anything out of there. Watching you try to the road. Making sure you put the team home. Boss driver. Did you drive the bus here again on this drop? Five to the 10. And getting this one up to about the 30. A gain of 11. Now, considering a day at the office here. Continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every fly. Running backs often do. So those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. Brought up to the 35 now as they come up in 10. <laughs> Out of the gun, and he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line. It's a loss there at second down. It's not the down and distance that you call it. Usually, you the second or third down for a definite passing situation before that play is dialed up. Second and 11. Second down about the 40. That's the 50. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Nice job. Nice patience right there. On the right side. Let him work his way across. Hold his hands and let him work his way up here with the catch. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Out of there, out of the goal. Take it down to the five-yard line. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. The running game would really benefit your team right now. After the big up of five, here's second and five. Now, I'll hand off here to his right back. Just before the line to gain. Pick up, lose him to throw it. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a block. Guess what? You're going to come back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Get two there, but on third and one, all they needed to keep the ground going. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, good for time. What's the the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. He has a quick little completion, got the job done for a third. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Yeah. 
That would have been out of goal. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He's going to do it. With more after this, you're watching the NFL on the A screen. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now, how to go down right around the 32 uh, the big line, they want to keep they'll take they this one and the big fellas up front on third down and hit at 50 percent three and six to this point third and six they'll give it here is right he stopped short of the first down as they run to the tackle at about the 28. Four yards on the pickup there. But it's hanging. Uh, that was a big time play defense. They all knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Brandon McManus for the Bronco field goal. This will be a 55-yard attempt. A key by McManus is good. Now let's do this lead down up to 25. So it's points of that run and even further here in the fourth. And you know in this lane, you can never have a dead run. It just widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about that. Setting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will return this one. He'll go down to the knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. These guys had a punt in last possession, and that's become too familiar. I mean, too many of these drives wind up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit, he's on the base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running, and just really have to lead the game out that way. Here's second and seven now for the 28. And the throw. And it's the third and the next. Jump seven yards. That should be good for the center. Yeah. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, that game's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays. Harder to move it. Back to throw. Incomplete. And all that does is hold in a set. Feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Already, Slim Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Guy 
Start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. The throw. Complete. The running down of the end completion. And his first catch of the game defensively, they bottled him up. That's where they went. And then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, and you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And last chance short of the marker by Justin Harper. And open down the middle. Yards going up for first. But they should hurt for the run drag routes. And they can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. In this situation, the defense was effective. They're going to stop you before you get a good head of steam going. This seems like one game long. There hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side. Haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. Haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way. Again, pass play there, but it's incomplete. But defensively, you look at the numbers. They're incomplete passing, we just saw. And they're only one yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game. Quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200 yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So, big credit to them from the moment. It's good. Thanks, Justin. Got 29 yards on time. But at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get in the hands. They did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think he was looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play we're working with. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays. Not necessarily X's and O's. That's exactly what they did there. So, and now in Denver territory. Outside into the hands of his tight end. Bounce into the ground just inside the tree. They should go for three and second down. I still have it. And the guy pretty well put it on him. So he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yards. Wasn't anywhere to go on that play. And first down completion, only netting him three. Second seven. Yeah. And give this time to the ten. He'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 14. Not too many offenses on the down long drives. You're down what they are. They've got to pay it off with some points. Nicholas Egg defensively for the Broncos here on third down. And just outside the tail at the end. Keep those sticks moving forward with a gain of three. Brandon, from our time in college, receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route trade. One thing they did learn was find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed. Pick it up the first. I want to know how to go. A fight for David and a lot. That's all. Game on the play. It'll be second down. 
You call this number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get shot. Now we'll go backwards here. They lost two of them. It's third down. Continues to move. And I think they just got to look at how they're trying to move the ball. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out. Maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Action fight. Changed anything on this play sheet. They just execute the previous drives a little goals. Oh, this they finally were able to find the end zone. He did. And he offered in that fourth quarter. He was he and his field general pretty good sync when we made this drop of Matt Gay on for the extra point. He's getting and I like the score. He points. That's why I'm very strong for the top there by Tampa Bay. Lots of work left to do the inside. The ball comes are going to get the football. Quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and you know, the data says that when a team's expecting an outside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal kind of a number. Kind of like when the guys are only scoring special teams, might have taken it in time, you win the game. Still waiting to see that number is empirical. Kind of snuff this play out behind the line. I've not seen that much today. I know they asked. Yards are now. And it's clearly working. I'm sure you're up here. Back to box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it work. Right there. Now they need to reap that effort. Need to bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll get to make that up and then some on second and 13. Second and 13. Hey, you know what? People think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Defensive guy. Now it's a quarterback third long. You really got to Yeah, you do in a big way. What else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working. Second and 13. Second 
Getting something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down with Edwards. It's third and very long. But it's left to play in this football game here on the EA Sports. It's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And they've got a third down now as they look for down to help this one around. Six yard gain and it leaves them looking at a fourth down. Field on third down. Excellent job. Excellent defensive series. Talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime. Best teams adjust series to series. They adjusted so well that they got the job done in five steps. They'll send out the punter to as the drive goes backwards, so he's going to put it away. And gets it away. And will not be returned as it sails off. Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back on the field. They're down big here late. Last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? He's like, get out of here. And he do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better as they continue to as they continue. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. I'll try and start with here. He brought that, and that's a face mask. Probably looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Now take the yardage and tack on 15 more. But that helps you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get them on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up another against your squad. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's happening. Because somehow they're actually going back in because people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays that are executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. See how they handle the remaining moments of this. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And sideline is complete. And it's way too. Management definitely critical here. Absolutely. But in this case, I want to make sure they have a chance at this ball game. Back-to-back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Oh, no. Hey. I just can't at the alarm. That's going to use the first of their timeouts. Next to go in the football game. Second and four. That's cool. Hands down, so it's out. And yes, they want the points. So they want the penalty, no question there. You don't think this a couple of seconds mulling over with the penalty or even the one they ask the sideline? Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone, that'll take it away. Take the points and keep moving. Jay is on for the point after. Now 
And that one makes this an 11 point deficit. And then just for play, and it ends with a touchdown for the box. Time definitely down in your favor, down two scores here. And this is going to be a fine hand scene. That should just about put a camera on this. You know, mirror. They had to have a little inside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even the points of the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did, indeed. And Denver getting set to take the field. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use three kneel down, it should be enough to get out of here with a victory. That's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. Little clock management 101. Ready, ready! The defense can stop it twice as they take a knee here. They go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. Not for the 22 ticks to go in the fourth. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee to use their third and final timeout as they stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So time to start going in the other direction. Up now, third and long. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down for your own career, but when you go on the wall, man, your brother's attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. I fear that. I remember a coach at a previous stop tell me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did this one. So this will wind up a Denver victory. Easy to kind of end the Denver win. You think all you have to do is with the altitude, but they got the job done. There's a reason to have those straight near five, right? They've got a terrific training center. Train at the altitude, lungs expand, you go down to the regular. Oh, my goodness, they can go all day. And in fact, a lot of visiting teams, when you visit Denver, you know what's, you know what's it in your locker room? Well, it's the Mile High City, the air is rare. To get in your head. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports 4. And it's on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Tampa.